Good morning. It's so early and so cold. Um, hoy me toca llevar him a la escuela. So I'm right here about to get in the car and warm it up so it's not super cold when we get inside. Oh wow, Joseph's car looks so nice. He got it detailed yesterday. And wow, it looks like brand new. They were here for like four or five hours yesterday detailing his car. Kind of feel weird using it because it's so clean. Like, what is this? Like, it's warm up this car. It's freezing in here. What's wrong with this? Why won't it turn? In the car, I got the kiddos here. Say good morning. Good Are you ready morning, for school? Guys. No, I'm tired. I got Noah. I never bring Noah ever because siempre it's me or Joseph right here in the house, and one of us just like stays here with him. But today, Joseph um, left. Really, actually, he left last night. He's going to TJ um, to take his cousin's dog to the vet out there, so he's going to be gone all day. So it's just me and the kids today. It's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, so me toca llevar him a la escuela, and I have to bring Noah along in the cold, so I make sure he's like wrapped up Mine's and warm. Oh but God. let's go drop off this kiddo. <laughs> let's go. So we already dropped off Emma. Emma's in school, Noah. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here at. Starbucks, no, ya me tiene escuchando Encanto so early. He is obsessed with that movie, and so is Emma. But I need a little Starbucks. So by this time that I post this video, I'm sure you guys already know that I'm pregnant. So I feel like it's like a big relief off my chest, like um, finally that you guys know that I'm pregnant. But at the same time, it was kind of nice, you know. Um, just keeping it to ourselves or to like the few people that knew that I was pregnant because you know social media can be harsh sometimes and especially you know um, with the pregnancy they want to tell you what you can what you can't do se creen los doctores de Instagram de whatever del internet and it's just like like I know what I'm doing this is not my first baby this is my third baby so don't come at me for drinking coffee um, I talked to my doctor already um, and I drank coffee with Noah in my pregnancy. I am trying to like cut back a little bit and drink more decaf this time around but my doctor says that 200 milligrams a day is totally fine which is one or two cups of coffee but always talk to your own doctor so they can tell you what's okay for you because what's okay for me might not be okay for you. So yeah, I just placed my order but like I was saying you guys, um, this is my third pregnancy and more or less I do know what I'm doing so um, if I drink coffee and if you never drink coffee when you're pregnant that's that's on you you know I for me it's okay to drink coffee and I'm gonna drink coffee this is a mental home Starbucks and I'm gonna go get it in my house I do drink decaf I'm drinking only decaf and I'm, like when I make coffee at home but if I go out and I'm not always going to get decaf. Like if I have want a regular coffee, I'm going to have a regular coffee. But that is just me. So that's the reason why like it was kind of nice not um, not having social media know yet that I was pregnant. Just because, you know, I, I'm going to start getting those people that are going to give me their unsolicited what? opinion and advices that I'm just like, you know, you could tell someone, but que van a hacer casos, otra cosa. And that's obviously someone's doing something that's gonna harm the baby. Well, then obviously that is a different story, but un café, no pasa nada, amigas. Like I said, consult your own OBGYN and see how much coffee they say is okay for you and your body and your baby. For me, she told me 200 milligrams a day is okay which is one or two cups of coffee i just thought i needed to like come on here and say that porque ya sé que me van a empezar a decir cosas y antes que me empiecen ya les dije that i'm not gonna stop drinking coffee i had said initially that i was not gonna drink coffee my next pregnancy but now that we're here it's a different story 
Uh, I'm just not going to drink as much coffee and I'm trying to drink decaf as an option if it's there but I'm not going to give it up like for what I love coffee se me antoja el cafe I love it so so anyways I'm here at Starbucks no I wanted it I actually wanted Chick-fil-A I was like no you want Chick-fil-A he's like no Starbucks I was like really Starbucks what are you going to get at Starbucks what did you get at Starbucks Noah uh, a cake pop so uh, I think we're still gonna get Chick-fil-A though because I'm hungry and it's breakfast time and I really don't feel like cooking this morning. I have those days where I'm just like, don't wanna do anything. And today's one of those days. Yes, I'm hungry. You're not hungry? No. So yeah, this pregnancy has been giving me so much fatigue. Like, la gana de no hacer nada absolutamente, ni maquillarme, ni peinarme, ni cambiarme. Noah dijo que no quería Chick-fil-A, no, he's like, I want Chick-fil-A. Because good thing you got like a little meal. Um, Mommy, meal was here. Yeah, it's right here, puppy. Mom, I'm in the house, like, I remember what I was telling you guys in the car. Ay, no me dieron hot sauce. Um, I think I was telling you guys that I've just been having so much fatigue. You know, soy una de que, like, I don't do anything all day, like, I'm always like doing something in my house, cleaning something, decluttering, I don't know, something. But lately, guys, like, I don't have the energy for it. I'm just so tired, so sleepy. Like, right now, if I could, I could go back to sleep, but obviously I can't. But lately, I've been going to bed como las ocho de la noche, like, so early. And I'm just like, I have zero energy and... Hopefully that gets better, you know, um, but this pregnancy, siento que the fatigue is worse, like so much worse than my other two pregnancies. So it, it does feel a little bit different, which is crazy porque con el embarazo de Noah, trabajé todo mi embarazo, trabajé, trabajaba like cinco o seis días a la semana. And now, I mean, I don't work, but I'm here in the house and it's, A different type of work, but it's just crazy how each pregnancy is different. Well, as I was saying, today is actually an exciting day. I have to actually go get ready already porque um, uh, today I'm getting my blood drawn for my gender reveal. So today I'm going to get my blood drawn and they're going to send my sister the results that give us el bebe if it's girl boy obviously i am team healthy baby i don't care what i have but you know like it's always like we do want a little brother for noah someone that's like kind of close in age but then at the same time it'd be nice to have a girl so honestly we don't we don't really have a preference we're just excited to know you know that way we can like plan pick the name and all that stuff One for you and one for me, okay? One for you. So yeah, um, my appointment is right now at 10. So it's like 8 something. I already have to go because I have to shower. I'm actually going to get ready today. Not like ready, ready, but like I'm going to put on some makeup like to look a little bit cute. Don't get out of these sweats. Every single day I want to wear sweats. Only on the weekends I'll like get ready, but lately I'm just like, uh, just want to wear sweats. I'm in that awkward stage where I don't have a bump, but my clothes, my regular jeans don't close. And I don't want to wear maternity clothes yet because it's too soon. So I'm in like that awkward, I just want to wear like um, crew necks or hoodies and sweats. So that's so ugly. <laughs> I don't have the bump where I could like feel like I can show off my stomach with the cute outfit yet. So no más estoy usando me veo más fodonga que nunca. That's fine. We're excited. We're happy. And I can't wait to bring you guys along this journey. So today is the first step. Um, so they're gonna draw my blood and then two days my my sister's gonna get an email with the results Mommy. So 
I am excited. This is the first time I'm gonna do like the blood one because with Emma, well, gender reveals weren't a thing, so they just told me at one of my checkups one day that I was having a girl, and I was like, okay, cool. And with Noah, I think they were starting to be a thing, the gender reveals, because I did have a little gender reveal party. I had the balloon, and we popped it, and the confetti came out. And this time, since this is my last pregnancy, my last baby, God willing, you know, this is going to be our last baby, um, we kind of want to do it a little bit more bigger i guess because it is our last baby we want to make it uh, a little bit like a, like a party and invite some of our close friends and family so we got a lot of exciting things coming and i just i'm happy that you guys know now that way i can like you know kind of just tell you guys to like when i'm craving something or why sometimes i do stuff like because i'm pregnant but now you guys know here's my coffee I got the brown sugar shaken espresso with sweet cream cold foam. I only got a grande. Porque también, you know, no nos queremos pasar de lanza. And usually, guys, I'm a type of person that okay, I'll sip on my coffee all day long. Like, I won't just, like, chug it or drink it fast. I can sip on it all day just to, like, enjoy it. You hear that? Yeah. It's a beautiful sound of iced coffee. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go shower, get ready, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ya que esté lista, ya que nos vayamos de la casa, I'll come back, talk to you guys a little bit more. See you guys soon. Much better, guys. Ya me bañé, me arreglé un poquito. Like, I'm still went from sweats to leggings, but still, it's something I'm wearing. I get this oversized tee, a cardigan, and some flats and some tights. But I do feel better when I do shower and get ready. But just the thought of having to do it, lo que me da, like, hueva. Like, I, I just have, like, so much fatigue. Like, usually I'm not, I don't leave all this mess here. And lately I'm just like, I don't even care, girl. But yeah, let's go. Little Bumble, Noah's ready too. He took a shower. You took a shower, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So this is a place. It's not at my actual doctor's. It's an outpatient. This is where they do like 3D, 4D ultrasounds. And I found it on Google, Stucky, and Palmdale. And this is where they do um, the blood draws to determine the sex. You could also do an ultrasound, but I think you gotta be like 16 weeks or something. I'm currently 10 weeks, so this is what works and I'm excited. I just got out. We're gonna have the results pretty soon. So in two days, you can have the results. You can actually pay to have them in just one day, like one business day, and you pay like $40 more. I think it's okay. I can wait like two days well actually my sister uh, is getting the results i put her email and they're going to be sending them to her but that's it it's um from sneak peek gender and they do it here they have a phlebotomist come on on tuesdays to draw blood so in two days my sister's gonna know get nervous i cannot see her because i feel like i'm gonna want to know and yeah what pasó? you want to go to the store all right, let's go to the store. Since we're already out and about and ready, but let's go do some damage at TJ Maxx. <laughs> ya regresamos a la casa. Noah's watching Toy Story and I think it's so cute. So me and Noah, we went to TJ Maxx after the appointment. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick a little things that I got. So I got these cute hair clips. I really like this one. So when you put your whole hair up and these are so cute. I just love the colors. And then I got this for Emma. It's for when she she takes snacks every single day. Um, but it has like like two layers. This was four dollars. Para que ve su fruta o cosas así. And then I just got some bowls. You know, you always need like bowls to like mix stuff. So it came with like a lot of them actually. Came with one. I think like three or four. Or four actually. I feel like I'm always looking for un traste where to mix a salsa or something, you know, so this is perfect. I need to wash it. And then I got Noah this little cup, which I think it's so cute. It's just like snack and sip. It was only $5. 
Um, let me see if I can open it. So it's so cute. Um, so on the top, you can put like a little snack. And then on the bottom of it, you put the actual... You put the drink so he can have a little snack and the drink on the go, which is so convenient and cute. Yes, girl. And then I also got myself this insulated cup. I liked it because you could use a straw and then also without the straw, like you can put it like this. And it keeps your drinks really cold. And I really like it. I love the Starbucks ones, but honestly, like it doesn't keep my drinks cold for a long time. So this one was only um, $10. And right now I'm drinking like a lot more water because I'm pregnant. So I'm trying to drink. All I drink is pretty much coffee and water. Or like my one coffee. And then I'll just drink water throughout the day. I usually like, um, I usually add like fruits to my water. Like chocomo mint or cucumber or strawberries or kiwis. Depends what I have in the house. But I like to um, put like infuse my water. Because I was just like, okay, just plain water, like, it's like a no. <laughs> and then I also got this cute mug that says, enjoy the little things. I just thought it was cute. It has a little heart inside. And that's pretty much it. I also went to the 99 cent store and got a bunch of random stuff. Oh, and I got some grandma underwear for the you know. That's the vibe these days, just being comfy. <laughs> These were five of them for $14 and they're a cotton, which I love. And I went to 99 cent store. I just got a bunch of like random stuff. I always get random stuff, but I love um, Perrier, the strawberry flavor one. So I just got like two of those and I got Emma this um, sandwich cutter and holder because she likes to take sandwiches to school like if she doesn't like the lunch they're gonna be giving. So I thought this was cute, it was only a dollar. She could store her sandwich and also has like a little cutter butterfly. That was so cute. And then I just got like random stuff like tissue paper and post-its, but yeah. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I think I'm gonna make a tuna melt. And yeah, but guys, right now, tengo un sueño. Like, my eyes feel so heavy right now. Like, I could literally knock out on this table. <laughs> it always happens around, like, midday or, like, after I pick up Emma from school where I get so sleepy. It's so crazy porque I'm not one to nap ever, ever, ever. Like, I don't get tired. Like, Joseph loves to nap. But me, I was never, ever one to nap. I don't remember the last time I ever took a nap, but now... But this pregnancy, like I literally can nap every single day. I'm like, so you guys could see it in my face. Like, mis ojos están tan pesados ahorita. <sighs> but I can't sleep. Joseph's not here. <laughs> um, I gotta push through. But once I pick up Emma, you know, I could just relax. She gets out in like two hours, so yeah. I'm just gonna make some lunch, but I think I'm gonna leave this video here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to find out what baby B is gonna be. And also, I think I'm gonna be doing like old tell wives to see like what the gender is, just like out of curiosity, like to see if it's true or not. It's in the bag. I think that's gonna be in another video, just doing like old tell wives or like um, stuff like that. To just predict the gender, even though they already did the actual blood one. Oh, mac and cheese. Noah chose this at the store and he wants them, so he's gonna eat them. But I can also be there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Okay, bye. Say bye, Noah. Bye. <laughs>